Welcome back to the greenhouse. Today I'm working on mixing up my grow solution for my tower garden. So, a little bit of background noise is my hose filling up the reservoir. The tower gardens have a 20 gallon reservoir. I've already filled one up, working on the second one. So as soon as that's filled up, we'll go through the process and the, uh, the formula itself. So you can calculate five gallons on up from there. Yesterday I was out here trimming up my tomato plants. That would reach the ceiling. That's coming from the bottom of the tower garden. They're eight feet tall. I've got clusters and clusters of tomatoes here. They're probably at their limit. I think they've been in there since Oh, maybe the end of September. The seeds were started September 11th. So anyway, I'll come back in just a minute as soon as these reservoirs are full. And we'll go through how to mix up the grow solution. Again, welcome back to the greenhouse. So I've unplugged my motors for my tower gardens. A little noisy as I'm trying to film. And I also shut off my fan, so it's probably going to get warm in here real quick. <clears throat> it's already 80 degrees and the humidity is also at 80 percent. So I can't help but snack on these tomatoes when I'm in here. So, again, the purpose of today's video is to walk you through how to mix up your own growing solutions, whether it's for your tower gardens, if you have any, or for any hydroponic setup. It could be the Dutch bucket, uh, NFT, nutrient flow technique, <clears throat> or just as a supplement to then water into your garden. So what I have here is a water-soluble fertilizer. So for each five gallons of growing solution that I mix up, you add 12 grams of the fertilizer. My reservoirs are 20 gallons. So I need 48 grams of the fertilizer. And I weigh that out. I've got a scale, just a cup. So I can then put it into the towers. <clears throat> so I start out by zeroing my scale out with the cup on it. Now, a key part of mixing up this growing solution is the order in which you add your components. And each time you add a component, like we're going to start with the fertilizer, I'm going to put it in each of my two towers. <clears throat> So I'm mixing up enough for two, so I'll measure out two portions of my fertilizer for each reservoir. From there I'm going to mix it up, and once I incorporate that fertilizer into the 20 gallons of water, next I'll add Epsom salt. So again, I've gone with a, uh, or I believe it's an organic food grade. I don't know if that matters or not, but that's just what I ordered. This is half the amount of the fertilizer, so 6 grams, or that's 6 grams per 5 gallons, or 24 grams for each 20 gallon reservoir of my tower gardens. So again, once I incorporate in my fertilizer, I'll then add the uh, Epsom salt into each one of the towers, again, thoroughly mix it up. It's all about getting these components to suspend in the water. So Epsom salt's the second ingredient. The third and final component or ingredient is calcium nitrate. This again is the same ratio as the fertilizer. So again, 48 grams for my 20 gallon reservoirs each or 12 grams per five gallons. 
this is the last component it's three parts that gets incorporated and again we have to then thoroughly mix it in from there you're ready to go I've used this formula for gotta be close to six years I started out with Dutch buckets and NFT that's nutrient flow technique basically they're a horizontal channel it constantly runs and the water circulates from one end of the grow channels all the way down to the far end and it dumps back into the reservoir I've used this growing solution formula also for the crack key method of growing that's another episode so let me go ahead and start with my fertilizer I'll mix it up I'll add my Epsom salt mix it up then I'll add my calcium nitrate and then I'll show you what I'm using to mix it up as kind of just a final uh, point to show you how I'm mixing it up you can hand stir it I happen to use a uh, battery operated drill with a paddle on the end so I'll be back in just a minute okay so as a recap sorry tomato seed I've been eating tomatoes the whole time I'm sorry battery operated drill and I have that type of a paddle I have some roots on there to mix up the ingredients that make up my grow solution so again we have a 20 gallon reservoir I've already added in my fertilizer again that was 48 grams I mixed it up really well I did the same for this tower I already finished that so I put my lid back on <clears throat> and uh, then I added Epsom salt again the formula is 24 grams in each tower thoroughly mix it the last component is calcium nitrate we're back up to 48 grams in each tower I've already mixed this one really well just going to show you how I do it with my uh, drill and just on a quick note for any of you tower garden folks out there anyone's interested there is a pump that sits in the reservoir every time I replenish my grow solution is the time I take to pull back some of my roots they hang down here especially when you have tomato plants that have been in there for over five months and I also take the time to rinse off the filter on the pump the pump pumps the water all the way up the tower and then gravity feeds it down so that filter tends to get dirty so it's a, uh, a good practice to clean that at least once a week or every time you're adding your grow solution let me mix this up Now, when you do it this way, you have to be careful not to catch your pump or the electric wire going to it. I'm going to reverse it. So, if I've done my job well in incorporating each one of the components, it should be suspended and we should be good to go. I'll be back in a minute. Leave me alone. I'm busy farming. All right. So, yeah, I had to pick Primo up. He wanted a little camera time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I filled up each one of my tower garden reservoirs. As a quick recap, 
48 grams for the 20 gallons or 12 grams for 5 gallons of a water soluble fertilizer. Once that's thoroughly incorporated per 5 gallons it's 6, gallon, 6 grams of Epsom salt or 24 grams per 20 gallons if you are again a tower garden owner. Once all that's incorporated the final ingredients calcium nitrate for the 20 gallon reservoir we're back at 48 grams or per 5 gallons it's 24 grams if you've mixed it in thoroughly in that order it should be suspended so it's not going to settle on the bottom so uh, again this is a great versatile vegetable um, growing solution so I hope you all found that helpful and uh, Primo and I are going to eat it. Well, I should say I'm going to eat a few more tomatoes. He's going to hang out with me. I probably have to throw the ball. So, as I say, we'll see you back here in the greenhouse next time. And always remember, leave me alone. I'm busy farming. We'll see you later. <laughs>